Hello, Kron here, and welcome back to Diversity 3. So, we are back right where we left off at the end of uh, last episode. And, uh, <laughs> I checked the wiki online because I did not want to have to do something like that again. And it turns out it's 40 blocks. Uh, the maximum length that you could, uh, uh, place tripwire, I guess. Um, so next question. What is this basic redstone mechanism commonly known as? Uh, I've probably seen this before. Good question. Okay, so... Maybe an ore gate? Nope. Nope. Okay, an ore gate has multiple inputs where any can turn on the output. Uh, but all inputs must be unpowered for the output to be off. Uh, but you get to choose which input you'd like to turn on. Oh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> the bargain pickaxe. Uh, okay, so it's either do this. Or have to mine. Uh, what seemed to be like a dozen... Or maybe a little bit less. Uh, a few less uh, ender chests. Dang it. Quite honestly, I'd rather do this. Because I c this I can handle. Okay. Alright, not too bad. Um... Okay, it was XOR. <laughs> uh, the XOR logic gate or the I don't care thing by people who have no interest in redstone. <laughs> yeah, I generally don't, but uh, I find some things to be pretty cool. I just think it... Uh, I just can't remember <laughs> most of the stuff. <laughs> um, so which of these blocks will not be pulled... Alongside slime blocks attached to a piston. Hmm. Is it ice? I think it might be ice. Nope. Slime blocks do grab ice. Okay. Now get your feathered friend through this icy death trap. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So, time it right. Oh, come on. Really? You had to let the chickens move? Oh my gosh. Oh. Man, this is rotten. Are you kidding me? This is wrong on so many levels. Are you kidding me? Really? Do you see this? Oh my gosh. No! Oh! I took my eye off the ball! <laughs> 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 
There we go. Whew. Okay. Um, is it wet sponge? Nope. You can also grab wet sponge. See that button above the red room? Press it. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> I figured it worked something like that. Almost had it there, <laughs> uh, just in case. Don't. <laughs> Aha, there we go. So, that button over there. Oh. oh, close, but no cigar. Oh, come on. Oh, so close. Man, really not getting lucky with this one. Oh, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> that was kind of finicky. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, I'm going to say it's sea lanterns. Are you kidding me? Man. Okay. So, uh, how does this work? <laughs> it should launch me up. Okay, there we go. Alright, so this button... Oh. Ah. Oh, from the code three. If I remember right. I don't know. No, I'm probably just making things up. <laughs> um, what is not a purpose of an activator rail when powered? Ejects a rider from a station from a stationary uh, minecart. Disables hopper minecarts from picking up items. Toggles corner uh, rail directions. Repeatedly executes command block minecarts. Not a purpose. Okay, can do that. All right. So, uh, oh, shoot. Oh, and <laughs> no teleporter here. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, I really hope we can at least finish this branch by, <laughs> by the end of this episode. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be likely. Okay, pick that one up. Pick the other.
And that one. Alright, now so back in the other direction. It's like I guess we've gotta get it to pick up all these heads here. Oh, what? It dropped one. A vacuum. Okay. So why did it not pick that one up? Or drop it? Oh, it didn't... Didn't pick that one up. Okay, pick that one up, though. Oh, nope, going too fast. Nope, still going too fast. Ugh. So I need to make sure it's not. Okay, so if I try it now. It picked up the head. Okay, good. And it picked up that one too. Alright, sweet. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. God, I hate these. <laughs> so, just need to get that one. <laughs> oh, this one's annoying. <laughs> very, very annoying. Uh, not nearly as painful as that... That 20 block... Tripwire one. Okay, there we go. Man. So. Okay, I can do that. Now go ahead. <laughs> Eject the D3 map team. Oh, is it actually all of them? Okay, I was hitting their hitbox. That's why it wasn't working. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh... Oh my gosh. So painful. Right, we already did this one. <laughs> uh, we're, seems like we're not even halfway there. Which of these blocks prevents a skeleton from burning in the sunlight when placed over its head? Carpet, cobweb, daylight sensor, or a hopper? It is a hopper. Okay. Huh. I never tried this stuff out, so... As you can see, a hopper doesn't prevent a skeleton from burning in sunlight. Does this really count as redstone? <laughs> uh, me thinks this is too close a look. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Nope, carpet also does. 
Believe it or not, carpet does not prevent a skeleton from burning in sunlight. Slain by flaming bone! <laughs> okay. Uh, props for that one. Uh, uh. Cobwebs? Seriously? That doesn't even make sense. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, it is either hilarious or painful. What does MBT stand for? Oh. I could have sworn it was that one. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, what am I here for exactly? Uh, but these four are waiting for a shave. That's what I thought this was for. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, this is certainly different. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Wow, oh, that was close. Don't. So what exactly am I shaving off here? <laughs> sea foam? <laughs> uh, ah. Nope. Okay. Let, let's try this. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. There we go. So at least on the second try, instead of the fourth. Alright, what does the exclamation point symbol indicate in a command? Oh, I have no idea. Oh man, that was a lucky guess. Wow. Handy syntax digit that allows whatever that means. <laughs> what syntax is required to summon the killer rabbit? That one seemed to make the most sense, so. <laughs> uh, oh, nice. Alright, what sound file type do resource packs require for custom sounds to work? Yep, knew that one. Alright. <laughs> I don't recall opening in the back of the cell. Uh, which command is the insertion listener event restricted to? Insertion listener event restricted to. Slash click. No, I don't think it's that one. Wow. Man. What a roll. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, was this in the first branch? I mean, of the <laughs> the the sub branch. I don't remember this. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> so... Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, moving on to the community one. Who was the original creator? Oh, that's easy. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Minecraft music video parodies are quite popular on YouTube. Which video parodies Coldplay's Viva La Vida? Is it Fallen Kingdom? It is, okay. Wow, I barely remember that. Oh, hello. Uh, White Wool from Spellbound Caves. Vex has made quite a name for himself in his, with his very difficult Complete the Monument maps. But what branding does this series... Oh, that's easy. Uh... We'll be, uh, discussing one of those... Uh, soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get rid of that. Uh, from maps to servers, Hypixel has mastered many of the creative aspects of the game. Which of these is not a Hypixel project? I recognize these two. Okay, yeah. That one I think was on, uh, Mineplex. It's a map by the- oh yeah, of course, Disco. I think I- I vaguely remember playing that. Oh, like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> uh, okay. One of the most well-known uh, resource packs is Faithful, 32 by 32. A resource pack version of the classic default resource pack. Who originally created it? Ooh, that I don't know. Mesa's realistic texture pack was first released for the 2010. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Nope. Glimmar's Steampunk Resource Pack was first released in October 2010 and has even been updated for 1.13. That makes it one of the longest supported texture packs in Minecraft history. Way to go, Glimmer. Now ride the little steampunks and press the button. Oh, okay. Oh. One of these, I see. Oh, shoot. And, of course, don't take damage. Uh, where to after that, though? That one? No, it can't be. I'm guessing maybe this side? Nope. <laughs> Don't. And, uh... <laughs> uh, we're out of time for this episode, sadly. Um, so, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> my failing and miraculous guessing. <laughs> uh, 
uh, in this episode. Um, I am not looking forward to this. Well, I will see you guys next time in the next episode of Diversity 3.